welcome to the Food Regulatory Outlook for the first half of 2018, where we have looked at some of the issues that we expect to see over the next six months. In recent years, food law has seen the introduction of significant regulation, which has shaped how food is manufactured and labelled. It's therefore encouraging that when the European Commission recently released its fitness check of general food law, it found the law generally to be operating well, but noted that improvements in legislation could be made around sustainability and waste. This ties in with the current discussion about plastic packaging in our environment and proposals around levies or deposit schemes for disposable coffee cups and plastic bottles. The Commission will be launching a consultation on food regulation in the spring, but business should expect an increased emphasis on the sustainability and environmental impact of its product and packaging. There is also new and proposed regulation to look out for. New regulation in April requires food businesses to take mitigation measures to limit acrylamide formulation in certain potato, bread and cereal-based foods. Proposed regulation comes from the Commission seeking feedback on country of origin labelling for primary ingredients. This controversial topic is likely to prove challenging for certain product lines. Finally, expect continued discussion about the role of food regulatory bodies in the UK. This includes extending the role of the National Crime Unit to cover investigatory powers, but also with the onset of Brexit, a careful look at how the existing structure split between the FSA, DEFRA and local authorities will be able to operate effectively to deliver a safe and consistent supply chain from farm to fork.